in the rainforest. Do you guys have any idea how much deliciously fresh fruit we'll get for our smoothie truck here? I know we'll grab a lot more with my super grabulator. Ooh! Shami, you just grabulated my hair gel. <laughs> Sorry. Does that mean we have to stop the spa? No, of course not. I have just begun to make you over. Relax. I don't get it, though. I thought we'd meet so many animals out here. I was really looking forward to it, but I haven't seen any. <gasps> Maybe throwing fruit is how these animals say welcome? <gasps> Only one way to find out. If you're going out in this, you'll need my other invention. It's the perfect thing for a rainforest. An umbrella forest! Hello? Can anyone up there hear me? The leaves are too thick. I can't see who's up there. I can help. I made a zipline zapper. Everyone, hold on to me tight! What's a zipline zapper? Uh oh. <laughs> Let's do that again. Oh, hey. No wonder I didn't see you guys down below. You're all up here. And you're all together down there. <laughs> so cute. Cute? Chrissy, we're dangling a million feet off the ground. I want to get down. Oh, that's easy. Oh. <laughs> Aw, you're a sweetie. Hey. <laughs> Hello, elephant. <laughs> Three words. Monkey, sweat, stains. <laughs> We're happy to be with you guys, too. But why did you throw fruit at us? <laughs> really? <laughs> he says the fruit was to scare us away, to save us. Save us from what? Not fleas, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> huh. From tigers. Mean tigers. <gasps> They live down there, and that's why the other animals made this treehouse and moved up here. They did a good job of it. The whole thing's held up by these vines and steadied by a boulder. Nice construction. <laughs> yeah, it's great, but are you guys sure the tigers are mean? Every tiger I've met has been really nice. <laughs> <laughs> showed up here, the tigers only growled and shot mean looks at them. They never tried to be friendly at all. <gasps> oh! They certainly s sound mean. Uh-huh, I'm convinced. Buddy, I'm moving in. But we can't just stay here. What about all the fruit we want to get for our smoothie truck? I know. Zip line, anyone?
No. I'm filthy. I'm fine. But I think I'm stuck. Uh, me too. The mud's so deep, we can't uh, get out. There has to be some way. What about the zip line zapper? Uh, it's still up there. We lost it when the line broke. So you're saying we're stuck here forever? <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> Because I understand her. She's saying she wants to help. Grab on. <laughs> Thanks, Raya. Oh, that's her name. <laughs> oh, baby tigers. They're so adorable. They're Allegre and Guapo, Raya's little sister and brother. <laughs> She likes her belly rubbed, and he likes to be scratched behind his ears. These can't be the same tigers the other animals said were so mean, right? Raya? <laughs> oh. Raya says the other animals are mean. They never asked the tigers to play and never invited them to the treehouse. But that doesn't make sense. We met the other animals, and they're not mean at all. Exactly. Raya, don't you see what happened? You and the other animals just misunderstood each other. Right. Neither group tried to make friends, so each group thought the other one was mean. That's it. The best way to make a friend is to be a friend. I bet if you or the other animals try that, everything will be different. <laughs> Coming from the animal's treehouse. Let's go. <gasps> the boulder's rolling away. And if it goes, the treehouse goes with it. Hurry! Get away from the treehouse! It's true. The only bummer is our fruit got all mushed up when we fell. Not sure we can use it for smoothies anymore. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what are you... Oh! <laughs> You're giving me a fruit facial and hair mask. They're giving us spa treatments. Fruit spa treatments. Oh, that's a polytastic idea. We'll make the fruit smoothie truck a fruit spa truck. We can all do it together. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mmm, <laughs> feels better already. Of course it does. <laughs> when I'm done with you, you're gonna feel like a whole new cat. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Meeting all these animals made the trip a million times better. Not just better. The best animal zipline fruit spa smoothie adventure ever! Body. She really wants that picture. I've never seen Chrissy go daredevil before. It's amazing! And a little dangerous. She's not looking where she's going at all. Come on, Tiger Tail. Just take a little break so I can get your picture. Oh, 
Oh, it's so cute. She's a sloth. There's a bunch of them in the rainforest, but each one keeps to itself. Alone and friendless? Forget this, I can't deal. Lila! You, sloth, need a makeover, and you'll feel so happy and confident, you'll have friends hanging with you all the time. So, are you with me? She wants to give you a makeover. She says she'd love it! Yes! Okay, this is gonna look great. So I recommend a mister, you know, just to keep your face hydrated. Amazing for the pores. <laughs> of course, the humidity! Why, well, you practically live in a mister! <laughs> the sloth understands her? Not a word. She laughed because the curlers tickled. <laughs> She's beautiful! Thank you. And newly confident, which means she's ready to meet lots of new friends. Well, actually, Lila, she says she's ready to go home and be by herself. Wait, 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 wait. Home? By herself? She says she's happier on her own, and she loves her new look. Thanks for inviting me, Selena. Are we still gonna look for the pink sparkly dolphin? I say we wait a while and let her and her new friend, you know, hang. to say, though. Hmm, for us, maybe. But not for a baby parrot. He's so cute. <laughs> no. He fell out of his nest while his parents were getting food, but his wings are too small to get him back up there. Oh, no. What if his parents don't find him down here? Oh, they'll find him because we're getting him back to his nest. Closer, Shawnee. Oh! Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Of course it was. This balloon is going to get that baby parrot back to his nest. You just might want to steer away from those thorns. Thorns? Steer away, Shawnee. I just the Can 
take him back home. We did it! He says thank you. You're welcome. Should we find that pink dolphin now? Yes! Dolphin. We did zip line through the rainforest, take a wild ride on a hot air balloon, and slide down an epic water slide, and we did it together! You know what that makes this trip? A total dolphinless bust? No! It makes it the best, best friend adventure day ever! But we are kind of stuck here, right? That's okay. I can get some animal friends to help us get back. But first, a best friend selfie! <gasps> You're here! Dream come true! The perfect pink! <laughs> she says the otters told her we've been looking for her! <gasps> Thanks, guys! You know what this means! Along the way. <laughs> mm. But wasn't all this a 
lot of work. Why'd you do it? Only the biggest news ever. Angela Bronte is coming to this house. Tonight? Angela Bronte? The host of Posh Party Pants? The one who visits houses while they're having parties? Uh, yeah. The coolest houses with the most sophisticated parties. This is huge. How'd you get her to come? I emailed her. I said I have a house like nothing she's ever seen. If she likes it, she'll put me on her show. Polly, that's fantastic! Mm -hmm. I want the house to be perfectly prepared so she can imagine an amazing show here. Call me DJ Shani. I'll make a music mix for each party room. And I'll make delectabilicious snacks. <sighs> okay, since you begged, I'll make us all beyond fabulous outfits. Oh, thank you. It's eight o'clock. Angela was supposed to be here an hour ago. Oh, maybe she's running late? Mm. No, Angela's a pro. If she was coming, she'd have called. <sighs> I'm sorry, Polly. Me too. You went to all this trouble to get on posh party pads and she just blows you off. I'm really sorry, Polly. You know what? I'm not sorry at all. You're not? No, I'm bummed, yeah, but Angela Bronte's just one person. Am I gonna let her get me down? No. No, I have three people right here who totally came through for me, so this place could be perfect. I say, let's have a party. We have tons of friends to invite, right? That's true. I can invite everyone at the zoo. I can get the skate park crew. Oh, I can invite everyone from the boutiques. Yes, let's do it. We'll give our friends a pop and party patapalooza they'll never forget. The party's so fun, Polly. Everyone's having a great time. Totally. But should we pop it to the next level? I thought you'd never. You know how it is. Holly Pocket! I'm sorry. Am I 
the right place. I. Oh! Oh! Unhand me, you brute! Oh! 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 Pocket. Yes, I'm so sorry. I had no idea you were here. I... How dare you bring me here for this, this free-for-all? <gasps> I only put sophisticated parties on my show. I know, and we planned for sophisticated, but things got a little out of control, and, well, isn't this fun? <laughs> fun? It's a wild mess, and nothing I would ever feature on my show. I'm leaving. show, but why? Look at what I do have. A whole house full of incredible friends and the best party ever. So you're not sad? Not even a little bit. I'm happy, and I want everyone here to be happy too. Uh, one sec. Angela, wait! I'd rather not, thank you. Please! I know you don't want me on your show. But at least let me offer you some cake and punch. Oh, fine. But only to avoid being rude. The P button? Oh, what does that do? do that? The pee button. I've put them in every room so the party can really pop. <laughs> Enjoy! Incredible. The pee button. What? Oh, how fantastic! Oh, <laughs> 
This morning, I know because I saw her when the delivery truck dropped off the monkey skating gear. <laughs> Hold up! Could Maggie have stowed away inside? But that truck was headed for the airport. The airport? Uh oh. Adam, did you just text me? No, my phone's been missing since this morning. Since the last time you saw Maggie? I guess. Oh, this is all my fault. I told Maggie great painters get inspired by things they see all over the world. So I guess she went to see them for herself. Maggie is in Paris? Lucky monkey! No, not lucky monkey. Mischievous monkey missing in a major metropolis! Don't worry, Adam. We'll go get her because friends help friends, right? Right, right! Right! On. <gasps> I've never been outside of Polyville, ever. Oh, and you're nervous. But Chrissy, you're an artist just like Maggie. You'll be inspired by someplace new. Plus, you'll be with us and oh, oh, brainstorm. A little part of Polyville you can keep with you. So, what do you think? Okay, I guess so. Chrissy, don't you love all the artists? They're painting right here on the street. It is beautiful here. Is it Maggie? Is she okay? And if she is, can we go shopping? What? I'm just asking. Hey, Lila, what do you make of this? It's the Jean-René Perret fashion show. Animals and people hit the catwalk together. Maggie must be there. Thanks, Lila. Let's go. Models and animals only. Animals? I have an idea. Ooh, 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 ooh. Andre. I can't believe that worked. I can't believe Lila agreed to be an orangutan. It's not like we're going on stage. Oh, good, you're here. Yoda, go, go, go. Actually, we. Uh... Choose a glitterizer and I'll choose a catwalk. No. Glitterizer? <laughs>
It was just like my dream. Lila, you're an orangutan. I have weird dreams. It's Maggie. She's at the beach. The beach? This beach is in the Caribbean. See the trees on that island in the background? They only grow in one part of the world. And if you want to see them from a pink sand beach, there's only one option. Then you're our official navigator. Au revoir, Paris. We're hitting the beach. Oh, but I just got used to Paris. Mm. Friends help friends. Wait for me! You're right, Shawnee. This place looks just like Maggie's selfie. So in the picture, Maggie's pointing to the island. That's it. Let's go. Thanks. Have you seen this monkey? Yep. Friend of yours? Yep. Where she is now, I don't know. Looks like I do. Snow, penguins, Maggie's in Antarctica. So, we're going to Antarctica? You better believe it. To the plane! Goodbye. Say hello to that crazy surfing monkey. tried, we could build a snowman as big as a Ferris wheel. Shh, do you hear that? <gasps> they don't have monsters in Antarctica, do they? It's not monsters, it's penguins. <laughs> We're looking for a very dear friend of ours, a monkey named Maggie. Have you seen her? I bet you two know the fastest way to get down this mountain. <laughs> Everybody, follow that monkey penguin. Come on! <laughs> 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 Or get you home. Oh, do we have to? I want to stay longer. <laughs> Purple 
Island was a good choice, Maggie. And we're done. Uh -huh. What do you think, guys? Uh -huh. oh. <gasps> wow! The Eiffel Tower! Oh, look, there's the island! And the penguins! Nice work, Maggie. It's a little bit of everything we did. And it even has a tiny piece of Polydale. <gasps> the pebble. Chrissy and Maggie, this is the best painting ever. <laughs> That's because we were inspired by the best friends ever. Aww. Right, Maggie? Maggie? Thanks for the hay delivery. Have fun going across the country. Hay delivery? Across the country? <laughs> Ready for some more inspiration? Shawnee's best invention ever! A tiny -izer. A tiny -izer? Yeah, I've been using it to make toys for the animals. Watch this. Shawnee. She can make anything. What's that? Shawnee's not the only one who can make anything. Come on, I'll show you inside. <laughs> Ta da! A candy amusement park! Wow! Do you love it? I even motorized it. Look! Love it. I want to play in it. <gasps> we can play in it. Sure. We just walk our fingers along the rides, and then we. No. I mean, we really can play in it with the tiny eyeser. We can shrink ourselves and actually play in the amusement park. Oh, Polly, can we? That would be a dream come true. Oh, but do you think we should? Maybe we should ask Shawnee first. She's busy. She and Lila had to hit the salon. But she left the tiny eyeser with me so I could make animal toys. That means it must be safe to use, right? Uh, right. It'll be a tiny tastic adventure. Think tiny thoughts. One, two, three. Polly, how do you feel? <gasps> and look! <laughs> Where do we start? You built it! You tell me! Um, this way! <laughs> Hold on tight to the licorice! It's cherry! I love it! Bouncing 
on anyways. Marshmallow? But the sun's melting the marshmallow. We have to get off. Roll! Roll as hard and fast as you can. Ready? One, two, three! <sighs> Guess we should have put the park down away from the sun. Oh, <laughs> see? That's much better. Holly, is it raining? Inside my house? Hmm? Wait, it's Spice! dressed as an orangutan at the time, but I was totally there. She can't hear us. I had no idea Lila's hair was so soft. I could knit a blanket out of this. Or is that just weird? A little bit. I have to get closer. Then she'll hear me. Great. But how? Wait here. Break. I'm gonna try to find her. Bye. <laughs> Simona? Oh no! No, no! Wait for me! <laughs> Hmm. Whoa, oh, maybe I'll just call. 
call Simona and see if she's around. Go! Hey, Lila! <laughs> in your foils. They're cool, right? Shawnee said it was a good look for me. Uh, I thought you were gonna use the tiny eyeser to make animal toys. I did, but then Chrissy had the candy amusement park and it looked like so much fun. Shrinking ourselves down seemed like the best idea ever. Okay, the tiny eyeser's all reversed. You guys ready? Yeah! Johnny, I guess just because something sounds like a great idea doesn't mean it really is. Are you kidding? Playing in a candy amusement park is an amazing idea. You just didn't go about it the right way. But how else could we... Oh! 